CFG scale or classifier free guidance scale is the magic dial that tells stable diffusion how closely to follow your prompt. Imagine you want a vibrant futuristic cityscape. At CFG 1, it's dull and off prompt. Bump it to 3, it's closer. At 7, it nails the futuristic vibe. At 10 plus, colors pop, but you'll have to watch out for oversaturation. If you're using LCM LoRa or SDXL Turbo, a CFG scale like 2 would be ideal. To understand how the CFG scale works, you first need to understand classifier guidance. Classifier guidance uses labels, which are single words like car, human, and cat we use when training models. With classifier guidance, we use labels to direct the model towards generating images that fit a specific category. If you label an image with cat, the model will generate images of cats. Labels are generally limited in the amount of detail they provide. The disadvantage of this is how you need a separate model to do the classification. The classifier model needs to be trained separately on a large data set of labeled images so it can accurately recognize different categories and during generation it will help control the generation to what the user wants by guiding the stable diffusion model accordingly. This can be complex and resource intensive. So along comes classifier free guidance. This time, instead of using an extra classifier model, the guidance is embedded directly within the diffusion model. So it is free of a classifier. The diffusion model is trained on a data set of images along with corresponding text descriptions or captions. During training, sometimes the text descriptions are used, which we call conditioning and sometimes they are not, which we call unconditioned. This helps the model learn to generate images both with and without explicit guidance. Finally, we get to classify a free guidance scale or CFG scale for short. This controls how much the text prompt guides the image. Low CFG equals random results. Moderate CFG seven to 10 equals prompt following. High CFG equals super precise images. If you are using a tool like Web UI or Comfy UI, there is a special section where you can control the CFG scale, and if you're using a tool like Focus or Anigen AI, a best suited CFG scale is already chosen for you by default. This is CFG Scale in 2 minutes. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more content like this.